Hello friends, uh, I am Om Prakash. Welcome you all to Digital Marketing Tips YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to set up Google Analytics account and uh, Google Search Terms account for your blogger website. Uh, there will be two steps you will uh, install the Google GA4 account, Google Analytics GA4 account to your blogger website. First step is setting up Google Analytics account. And second one is adding the tracking ID to your blogger blog. Google Analytics can provide you with useful information about who is visiting your blogger blog and how they find it. To start tracking visitors to a blog, you can you can you can set up a Google Analytics account and add tracking ID to a blog. And first, go to Google Analytics uh, Google.com Analytics in your web browser. It is a Google Analytics website and will work in any popular web browser like Chrome or Firefox. And click sign, sign in to Google Analytics. If you are not logged into Google, click sign in and then enter your Google username and password. If you don't have a Google account, go to google.com, click sign in and then create an account. And then you will have a, the button click start messaging. It's a button in the center of the page that will allow you to use Google Analytics. If you have already an Google Analytics account, in my case, as you see, there is already a demo account there. So we have to go and click the gear icon under the admin tab and here create account. And we have to give the account name. Account name or property name field type a name of the Google Analytics account. The account name can be it uh, can be the name of your blogger, blog, your Google is a number in respect to what words you would like to use. Here I am using the blogger. Sorry. Then click next. Then property details. In the property na name field, type the name of blogger blog. It doesn't have to match exactly, but if you have several blogger blogs, it helps if you write the correct blogger name for each Google Analytics account. And you should choose your time zone and currency. For Google Analytics to work, choose your region and time zone so visits can be logged correctly. For example, it's Monday for you, but Tuesday for a visitor. But Google Analytics will report the visitor on Monday. Choose the current choose the correct currency. So Google Analytics charges you approximately for any paid visits, paid advertising. As you see the in the advanced option and as as the Google, Google Universal Analytics property that GA3 is being uh, stopped by Google, now we, mean we should only use Google Analytics property that is GA4 and then click next. And then we have to select the industry category. And then click next. And select what, what, what is the purpose of what is the objective of your business. Then we can generate leads or drive online sales or raise brand awareness. Examine user behavior. Okay. Okay. 
just accept it see form just select and accept now choose the platform and select your id the website url of your website here of your blog Take the stream name as your block. Now the stream is created. This is the measurement ID for our text ID. We have to copy this ID. And, and you can also note, copy it on, paste it on your notepad. And we have to add this code. As you can see, immediately after the head element, after copying the Google tag here, then go to your blogger. And with the left hand go to theme section under the theme section here go to edit HTML right here see below the head element you have to paste here the G tag G tag as I already have pasted it see the same tag paste here and then Save. Then go to data streams and copy this measurement ID that is geo for Google tab and go to your blogger settings here. In settings here, Google Analytics measurement ID. Paste your ID and save it. And now you go to home page you can see your data collection is active it may it may take it may take up 24 hours to appear in analytics account if you in v real time you can see one user is there in this way you can you can add you can set up gucci for account to your blogger website And to, to create Google Search Console account to your blocker website, uh, I will tell the process how, how you can add Google Search Console account to your blocker website. The purpose of uh, creating Google Search Console account is uh, to know the interaction of search engine like Google with your website, like how many pages being indexed or crawled, and uh, from which domains you're getting the links. Uh, or any indexing issues like phone or others, all this information we can track from Google Search Console account. To create Google Search Console, copy your blog URL and paste it URL prefix and click continue. Now, as you can see, ownership is auto verified. It's auto verified by as 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 before we are creating the Google Analytics account from Google Analytics account it is being verified and click go to property as you can see here performance you can see after uh, after from from one day we can start seeing the data here okay if you learn any thank you for watching this video if you learn anything from this video please like and subscribe 
Thank you. Take care. Bye.